But Respawn just threw us a massive curveball. Completely out of the blue, they are officially nerfing the Heatsink Flatline skin. They claim this is because of feedback they've gotten about the aim down sights felt superior to any other skin available for the Flatline. And I think we can all agree that this is just kind of true. But just take a look at the change that is being made to the Heatsink Iron Sight. Here's the before of what it is currently. And this is what it's going to look like after the change, which will come with the collection event. We're also going to be changing the Iron Sight on the Guidance Event Flatline as it was just really bulky. This is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. But this isn't even what I find to be the most problematic thing. I just really think this is kind of a missed opportunity for Respawn. I understand that they don't want to have anything that is pay to win in their game. But I distinctly remember that there was an interview with JBeebs where he stated that changing the iron sight would just be a little bit too difficult. And now it's kind of showing that that isn't necessarily the case. And since we're now being presented with this, it makes me wonder why didn't they just change all of the iron sights or the flat line to equal the heat sink one? The entire community has all agreed that the heat Heatsink Flatline has the best iron sight. I don't really understand why we go backwards and just nerf the Heatsink one instead of just buffing the other ones. Like, I understand they just increased the spawn rate for optics, so we will find optics a lot more, but it still feels kind of just like a missed opportunity. Honestly, what I find the most problematic about this, though, is that this kind of alludes to them changing other pay to win skins. I think we can all agree that the R9 is probably a big example of this where it has these two vertical bars instead of the crescent iron sight. I think it's common knowledge that one is just better than the other. And the problem with that is it makes it so where you can't really use that many good R9 skins. Like the R9 has some really great skins, but because of the iron sight, people just really don't use it. And I think honestly what they're going to do is just remove the vertical bars and give us that crescent moon iron sight, which I don't like at all. I just think it's kind of weird that they won't change the inferior iron sight to the superior one, given the fact that it doesn't really make you any better. It's not going to improve your aim it directly. It's just going to give you the better opportunity to have better aim, especially in a game like Apex that has so much visual clutter. I just don't understand why we need to have iron sights that kind of obstruct that. Business standpoint, I do understand it, though. It does make it hard for them to sell skins if it doesn't have a pay to win one. It honestly seems like something this that has been in the works for a while because they've still just been releasing just regular ass skins instead of giving us the more beneficial iron sights. But in their closing statement, they say we believe that any competitive edge in Apex Legends should be gained by honing your skills, not due to any perceived advantages from buying gun skins. Which, yes, I agree, but they also kind of recognize that it's, it is a perceived advantage. So at the end of the day, it's all just placebo. But it still kind of sucks to see that the Heatsink Iron Sight is getting a nerf instead of just giving all the other Iron Sights the same Iron Sight. But what do you guys think? Is this a step in the right direction or do you think Respawn is making a big mistake with this? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.